Good morning, everybody. Today I'm reading Isaiah 40, verse 8. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. Amen. Born in 1642, Isaac Newton is widely regarded as the greatest scientist who has ever lived. Even Professor Stephen Hawking said about him, Newton is a colossus without parallel in the history of science. Newton invented calculus, discovered that white light is made up of the whole color spectrum and is perhaps most famous for his theory of gravity, which explained why the planets remain in orbit around the sun. He was a Bible believer and actually spent at least as much time studying the Bible as on his science and inventions. Newton was especially interested in Bible prophecy. He was not so much in favor of using Bible prophecies to foretell future events. Rather, he believed the purpose of prophecy was to demonstrate God's providence in history. Again and again, when Bible prophecies are fulfilled as at least 80% of them have been, we can see the guiding hand of God on history and the truth that the Bible is God's own word is confirmed to us. However, in the 1680s, Newton was studying the book of Daniel. In chapter 12, verse 4, he read, But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. So he speculated and wrote, there might be an invention someday that would enable people to travel at great speed. These speeds might eventually exceed 50 miles an hour. Born 50 years after Newton, the French philosopher Voltaire is famous for his wit and his criticism of Christianity. When he read Newton's comment on Daniel 12.4, he wrote, See what a fool Christianity makes an otherwise brilliant man. Has he forgotten that if a man would travel at this rate, he would be suffocated? Voltaire also wrote, The Bible, that is what fools have written what imbeciles commend, what rogues teach, and young children are made to learn by heart. Voltaire believed that Christianity was about to become extinct and that the Bible would be an unused, useless, ancient relic. But who was right? Today, millions of people every day travel over 10 times faster than the 50 miles per hour predicted by Newton. At least they did before coronavirus. And today the Bible has been proved to be the most published, best-selling, and most widely distributed book of all time. Rather than dying out, the gospel is flourishing all over the world. The word of our God stands forever. We can't do better than to believe it. Amen. Have a great day.